All right, you can plan all you want, but we know fires are ultimately unpredictable, even for a man who dedicated his life to fighting them and saving lives. Friday, a fire destroyed Ted Bulliter's home. He's a retired assistant fire chief for the Santa Fe Fire Department. He was at his home in Santa Fe when family members say the fire started in the backyard. Bulliter had his five grandkids, son and daughter-in-law in their home, and thankfully, everyone made it out safely. They knew exactly what to do, but Bulliter sadly was not so lucky because he's in the hospital with burns. And a Santa Fe firefighter was also injured in that fire. Brittany Costello has how the community is now rallying around this family, helping repay those years of service. You just knew that like this was going to be devastating for some people. It happened in an instant. I heard the propane tanks. They were probably the smaller propane tanks for the grills. Flames devoured this Santa Fe home, destroying just about everything in its path. When I turned down Osage from Howard Free and I saw the fire trucks, that was such a surreal moment for us and not for me. I parked the car, I got out, and I just, I just, I just like fell into the road. I, I couldn't believe my house was burning. A home so special, full of so many memories. The home of retired Santa Fe Fire Department Assistant Chief Ted Bolletter. It's hard because it hits home, closer to home. Fire Chief Brian Moya says it happened Friday around 6 o'clock. Bulleter was home with his family, including five young grandchildren, when the fire started. They made it out okay, but Bulleter suffered burns to his hands, feet, and face. When we arrived, there was flames coming out of the second story. Um, and we were able to extinguish them within 30 minutes. The Bulleter family believes it may have been caused by a stray ember. They were planning on cooking outside in their backyard oasis. Now they are just reminding themselves how lucky they really are. They are hopeful the home they created so many memories in will live on in a new chapter. And we will rebuild the 1008 Osage home, not the way it looked now. It'll be a smaller home, but we'll We'll still have memories there. With the help of so many people now coming to their rescue. He is still in the hospital in Albuquerque. Folks with the fire department say he has a long road ahead, but he is expected to be okay. There is a GoFundMe set up. We have a link to that on our website, KOB.com. Reporting in Santa Fe, Brittany Costello, KOB4.